Good afternoon, world. Well, it's 2.37 p.m. I just finished watching my show. Hope you guys enjoyed my recent video. Yeah, my camera, again, I, I ended up going over time and I lost track of time. My camera cut again. So I'm going to make another video. I'll make maybe a one-hour video here. And then... I might just order some food. I don't want to get beer and smokes again, but I mean... Because I know if I get if I drink 12 beers, I'm going to feel a bit sick tomorrow at work. <laughs> yeah. Hi, that was a sick video. Yeah, that was a sick video. I hear you sound soon. Like, Holy shit, Ivan. You know your shit, huh? You know, I was like, that was a sick video. Yeah, Ivan. Yeah, it's debatable. Yeah, it's debatable about Jesus' holiness. Um, How, like, when it says Jesus was holy... How whole like how 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 much are you taking it to the extreme? I believe when the Bible says Jesus was holy, it means compared to everyone else, he lived a good life, the perfect life. But he made errors. He probably swore a few times. He probably had boners. He probably jacked off. He probably had wet dreams. But compared to everyone else, he was a holy man. He was good. He was good enough to satisfy. The father looked at his life, you know what? You lived a good enough life to, to be the perfect sacrifice. Yes, that's what it means, obviously. Whereas Christians say, yeah, he never he never was aroused. He never thought a bad thought. Um, like baloney, he was a human being. He was tapped at all points, which means he, he experienced everything we experience. Which means he most likely jacked off. Don't hate me. He, he had boners. He thought many, many bad thoughts. Obviously, well, because Jesus was holy, if he thought bad thoughts, he would cast the thoughts down. He would brush those thoughts aside. Just that's exactly what I do. Whenever I think bad thoughts, I brush, I, I cast the thoughts down. That's why I trip. Because I'm holy, obviously. I don't want to think bad thoughts, but the bad thoughts I can't control. So my Jesus, that's a symbolism of Jesus, man. My life. Whenever I think bad thoughts. That's when the trip happens because I, I, I don't like thinking bad thoughts. Whenever I think bad thoughts about other people, I trip because I don't like them knowing that I'm thinking those thoughts, obviously, because I'm a holy man. Jesus thought many, many bad thoughts in his life, but, be, but he was a holy man compared to everyone else. When it says Jesus was holy, what it means is compared to the world, he was a good man. Was everyone else was wicked. He was good compared to everyone else. In other words, when you compare Jesus' life to, the, to, the, to all the human beings in the world, it's like filthy rags. Jesus was a holy good man. But he made errors. Because he was tempted at all points. He's all sins, I'm sorry. Yeah. Jesus, before... I want to say this in my, before the, 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 the camera shot of my last video. Jesus called the uh, Wyatt... He called the uh, the Pharisees like some brutal names, like brood of vipers, snakes. He called them all all kinds of names. You see what I'm saying? So to say, I have Jesus never swore is like baloney. He swore, man. He swore, but compared to everyone else, he didn't swore that much. He was a good man. Yes, I swear a lot in my videos, obviously, because you guys piss me off. But when I go out in public, I barely swear. I don't swear that much. I don't. I don't swear that much. I swear a lot, obviously. But, but what? Obviously, you know what I'm saying. I mean, is swearing a sin? No, swearing is not really a sin. It's just a bad word. You know what I'm saying? It's a bad word, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Obviously. Why right, you're saying that Jesus swore he 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 would he be damned to hell? No, Jesus was a human being. He was tapped at all points. He would obviously swear. Obviously, look, man. If don't hate me, Sam Shimon. If Sam Shimon and Creflo Dollar the want to be consistent, if you want to say that Jesus never swore, he was never aroused. That's blasphemy. Obviously, you're gonna to have to condemn the Old Testament because in the Old Testament, God like killed children. He killed, he murdered, he, 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 what, he, he, he wiped out nations, man. He, he murdered people. And yet, and yet, be, but because he's God, he, he's still holy. Because he was justified in what he did. You see what I'm saying? That's why you have to be consistent. If you're going to say Jesus, Jesus, if Jesus ever had a boner, if he ever jacked off, 
if he ever thought about thought that's sin, obviously, you're gonna have to condemn the Old Testament. Because what? Because what? What? Um, God in the Old Testament, he did some some cool things, man. He murdered children, he wiped out nations, he he struck people with diseases. Like you have to be consistent, man, if you want if you if you want to if, if you want to be consistent, man. But even though God did that, he's still a he's still a holy being. Obviously, because he was justified in what he did. See what I'm saying? That's my point. You take G the, the Christians, they take Jesus' holiness to, 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 to such an extreme whereby he never thought a bad thought. You know, I don't know what Sam Shamoon I don't know what Sam Shamoon uh, uh thinks about this. But I guarantee you Sam probably thinks, yeah, yeah Ivan. Jesus thought many bad thoughts. He probably swore a few times. He probably swore many times, as, quite a few times in his life. He probably had boners. He probably was aroused. You know what I'm saying? But yet he was without sin. Yes, that's my point. He was a good man compared to everyone else. But he, 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 he what? He was tempted at all points, man. Jesus called the, uh, the Pharisees some harsh names. Brood of vipers, snakes. He called a woman a dog. You know what I'm saying? He calls some people some brutal names. Obviously. So I'm saying? But the Bible makes Jesus' holiness, they take Jesus' holiness to the extreme where it's impossible. If he was truly man, he obviously swore a few times. He obviously swore sometimes in his life, many times in his life. But compared to everyone else, he was good, obviously. He had boners, he was aroused by a woman, but he never had sex with a woman. He thought woman he thought about banging chicks. He was a human being. Obviously, sir. But he still was sinless. He lived a good life. That's what being sinless means. Being sinless pretty much means that compared to everyone else, you're, you lived a good life. You're holy. But it doesn't mean you can't make any errors. No, Jesus never made an error, Ivan. I'm like, okay, so you're saying he, ne he never had a boner. He never had wet dreams. He never jacked off. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He never thought a bad thought. He never swore. Come on. He never thought about lusting after a woman. Come on. He did. He was a human being. But the Bible, they say, well, gee, if you ever think about lusting after a woman, you commit adultery in your heart. Obviously. Yeah, because Jesus said that, that means he never thought that thought. No. Jesus is just making a point. Look, man, if you're, if, if, if he's, Jesus is pretty much making a point. Look, man, if you lust after a woman's, another woman's husband constantly then you're committing sin but if, just because you think the thought doesn't mean you sinned because everyone thinks bad thoughts as jesus obviously thought jesus obviously thought bad thoughts when he what when he called the uh the uh what when, 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 whenever the uh what he called the pharisees bad names he was thinking bad thoughts as he, he was speaking obviously he called them brood of vipers. Is that a sin? You want to be consistent? No, Ivan. If he calls them brood of vipers, that's not a sin, Ivan. Okay, so God in the Old Testament, when he thought of wiping out the uh, the children, is God sinning by thinking of wiping out those children or not? No, Ivan, he's not sinning. Okay, you got to be consistent then. If in the Old Testament, when God thought of wiping out the, uh, the what? The, 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 the children and the nations, obviously... He, when he did that, he obviously thought those thoughts. No, I mean, he didn't think those thoughts, but he did it anyways. No, he thought those thoughts while he wiped. He, he told the, the prophets, this is what I want you to do. He thought those thoughts. Is God sinning by thinking of murdering uh, children or not? No, I mean, in the Old Testament, he he, 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 he didn't commit a sin. And you got to be consistent. Jesus obviously thought bad thoughts in his life, obviously, if he's a human being, sir. Yeah. Holy shit, Ivan, you, you know your shit. Yes, I know my shit. Sam's like, oh, Ivan, you make a good point. You know what I'm saying? The Old Testament, God did wipe out. God did wipe out the nations. Yes, man. The Old Testament, God killed people, man. He killed children. He killed women. He killed nations. He wiped out nations. <laughs> he struck people with diseases. And when he did that, was God thinking those thoughts about murdering those people? Yeah, I haven't even taken those thoughts. Okay. Is that a sin for God to think those thoughts? 
all right, if it's not a sin, okay, then it's it's also not a sin for Jesus to think thoughts if he lived the perfect life, obviously. If you're going to be consistent. Some Zara. That's my point. Holy shit, I mean, you know your shit. Yes, I know my shit. Sounds like, yeah, I mean, I see your point. Yeah. Je when, when the Bible says Jesus was his, what it means is, compared to everyone else, he lived a good, holy life. He never touched a woman. Even though he was aroused many times, he might have jacked off a few times. He might have jacked off maybe 200 times in his life. He might have maybe had wet dreams, maybe 100 wet dreams. He never touched, he still never touched a woman. Even though he thought many bad thoughts, he, ne he never what? He never sinned. He never banged a woman. He never killed anyone. You know what I'm saying? Jesus got angry at the at the, at the, at the, at the, at the Pharisees. He called them some harsh names. And the Bible says it's a sin to get angry. Obviously. No, I have now it's righteous anger. Yeah, you you, you guys take Jesus' holiness and our love war by he never like thought about thought. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, when Jesus was angry, I have now it's righteous anger. So he didn't sin there, you know what I'm saying? But in the Old Testament, God murders a bunch of people, and that's fine. Is that a sin? No, I was not a sin because God's the creator of life. He's justifying you in that, yes. And you gotta be consistent, man. You gotta be consistent with, with your theology, man. Be consistent, Christians, man. Don't be fucking hypocrites, I'm sorry. Even though Sam is a genius and he's much smarter than me in the Bible, he's a, he's, he has amazing arguments for the Bible, obviously. I caught him in one thing. He says how Jesus never sinned one in his life one time. And yet in the Old Testament, God murders a bunch of people. How do you justify that? You know, I'm saying, yeah, I mean, Jesus never thought about thought. Okay, in the Old Testament, when God commanded the prophets to, to, to wipe out the nations, was God thinking about murdering those people or not? Yeah, I mean, he thought about murdering them. Okay, if God thinks about murdering someone, is that a sin? Or is he still holy even though he thought those thoughts? Yeah, I mean, he's still holy. Yes, that's my point. Jesus, even though he was holy, he thought... Bad thoughts, just like I think many, many bad thoughts. But compared to, when it, the Bible says Jesus was holy, what it means is compared to everyone else, he lived a holy life. He was good. He was a virgin. He, he remained a virgin, even though no one can remain a virgin, like me, like me, obviously. He probably was aroused when a woman hit on him. He had boners. He probably jacked off maybe 200 times his life. You know what I'm saying? To some woman, maybe. But he never had sex with them, so he was still sinless. He probably had wet dreams. Oh, even that's blasphemy, okay. If you're going to be consistent and say that's blasphemy, then you also have to say it's blasphemy for God to wipe out all the nations and murder people in the Old Testament, man, and strike people with diseases. If you're going to be consistent, oh, no, no, it's not the same thing, Ivan. Mean, yes, it is. <coughs> the God of the Old Testament is the same God of the New Testament, just with a new covenant. You have to be consistent, man. You can't. You can't what? Pick and choose, man. Sam's like, Ivan, you caught me. Yes, I caught you, Sam. Even though you would destroy me in debate, I would never debate you. You would destroy my ass. I caught you in this. You have to be consistent, Sam. If you're going to say Jesus never thought a bad thought in the New Testament, in the Old Testament, when God wiped out the nations and he, he murdered people and struck people with diseases, obviously... You know what I'm saying? Oh, are you saying that God God was so holy even though he did that? Yeah, I mean, he was so holy in doing so. Because it was just what he did. Yes. That's my point. So let's say Jesus thought a bad thought. Obviously, but like he didn't mean to think that bad thought. It just came up. He was still holy. Because he just thought a bad thought. But he didn't mean to think. He didn't mean to think that bad thought. He, he just thought a bad thought. If Jesus thought of lusting after another woman's wife... He just thought that bad thought, but he cast it down. Oh, oh my God, for, for, forgive me, Father. I, I, it's just a thought. You see what I'm saying? Here? It's just a thought. I'm just saying. I, I'm not really gonna. I'm never. I'm never gonna touch this man's wife because he was holy. That's what it means when that one says Jesus was sinless. That's my theory, anyway. Some saying. Some saying. That's my theory. So I caught Sam Shimon in that. Even though Sam's a genius and he, he would destroy me in the bit, I would never debate him. You <laughs> destroy my ass. I know the Bible pretty well. I caught him in this. 
you have to be consistent sometimes. You're going to say Jesus was completely sinless and he never thought a bad thought. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he never what? He never he never thought about lusting after another person's wife. And if you're saying that's a sin, then you got to be consistent. In the Old Testament, when God thought of wiping out the nations, when God gave the commands of wiping out the nations and the children and, and the woman... And, and giving struck, striking people with diseases, when God thought those thoughts, was God is God so holy in doing so? I mean, he's so holy, even though he did that, and he thought those thoughts. And you got to be consistent. If Jesus thought those thoughts, he would still be holy, because he didn't. He, he was without sin. Notice when the Bible says Jesus was without sin, what it what it really means is the way I see it. What it really means is, is that is that. Is that Jesus's Jesus's nature is holy? Jesus's nature is because Jesus is because Jesus is God's son. His nature is holy. Compared to everyone else, he does good deeds. He he lived a good life. He does good deeds compared to everyone else. But he can still make mistakes. He can still make errors. He can still fall as a man. By falling, I mean he can he he can swear. You know what I'm saying? He can get a boner. You know what I'm saying? He can get aroused by a woman, but he'll never touch a woman. He'll run away. He can swear sometimes. He can get angry. He can think many, many bad thoughts, but he casts those thoughts down. I'm sorry, Father. I, it's just, I'm just saying I didn't mean to think these thoughts. It's just a thought. It's okay, son. You're, ho you're still living a good life. Yes, that's what it means when Jesus is holy. But because Christians are crazy, they say, they, yeah, Jesus was never aroused. He never thought a bad thought. I'm saying... <coughs> He never thought about thought. He, if a woman was hitting on Jesus and she took off her clothes, Jesus wouldn't get a boner. He would just stand there and be like, I, the Lord, your God, will never have sex with you. No, Jesus would be aroused as a man because he was fully man and he would get a boner and he would run out of there because he's holy. And the father says, well done, son. You, you resist the temptation. Yes. That's why Paul says flee from fornication because that's what Jesus would have done. Jesus would have fled from fornication if woman guaranteed in Jesus' life, supposed life, right? Guarantee one woman did hit on him. And he probably was aroused, and he probably had boners. He was aroused and he fled out of the place. Obviously, because he was tapping all points, but without sin. Is that right? No, it was just because Jesus said. If you look, if you if if you think if you think about lusting after a woman, you commit adultery in your heart. That doesn't mean that Jesus never thought about lusting after a woman. The point Jesus is making is that if 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 the point Jesus is making is that is 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 that what? Only God can live the good life. No human being can do that. But that doesn't mean he never thought of he never thought about lusting after another woman's wife. He's a human being. He obviously thought those thoughts, but he cast them down. <laughs> The difference between Jesus and 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 what and 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 what and the uh and the and the and the and 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 the humans in the world is that Jesus because Jesus was holy even though he thought bad thoughts he cast the thoughts down obviously Father forgive me and shit I just thought these thoughts it's okay son is is you know what I'm saying you're just saying yeah Jesus is just he just he thinks a thought he's just saying that doesn't mean he's gonna do it. Obviously. In other words, if Jesus thinks about lusting after a woman, obviously, it's just a thought, but he, he would never do it because he's holy. Whereas the human beings around the world, when they think those thoughts, they actually would do it because they're not holy like Jesus. That's Jesus' point. Look, I've thought many thoughts about lusting after women's men, obviously, but I would never do it because I'm holy. You, what, what you guys can't do, I can do. What, what, what's, with men, it's impossible. With God, all things are possible. Because Jesus is a holy man. But Jesus obviously thought thoughts about, about lusting after other men's wife. He was a human being, man. You can't control thoughts. If you see an attract so you're saying when Jesus saw an attractive trick uh, chick, and he I don't know, he saw a, a husband with an attractive you're saying that if she was attractive, we never thought about lusting after her? I bang her, of course he did. He was a human being, he was tempted all points. But because he's holy, he would never do it. He cast the thoughts down. Father, I'm sorry. I'm just saying, it's just a thought. It's okay, son. You just thought this. It's fine. The Old Testament, 
we, 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 we thought about murdering all these people. It's fine. We're so holy. Yes. Even though God in the Old Testament was justified in, in killing all those people because he's a creator of life, obviously. He thought those murderous thoughts. Is that a sin? Is that a sin, Sam Shamoon? You ought to be consistent, sir. Alright, but it's not a sin. Okay, well then, it's also not a sin if Jesus thought bad thoughts in New Testament. Because Christians are so inconsistent. I caught this. Christians are so inconsistent. I'm sorry. <coughs> in the New Testament, they say Jesus never thought a bad thought, obviously. If he did, that'd be a sin. If Jesus ever got a boner, that'd be a sin. You know what I'm saying? If Jesus was ever aroused, that'd be a sin. Yeah, in the Old Testament, God had, God what? Thought of wiping out nations, giving people diseases. He thought murderous thoughts about these, about, about, about the human beings, obviously, in the, in the, in the Old Testament. And that, there's nothing worse than, than killing someone. Killing someone's even worse than adultery. It's worse than having sex with a woman. Yeah, God, the God of the Old Testament, of the Bible, murdered many people in the Old Testament. So is that a sin if God thinks of murdering other people? No, because God's a creator of life. He was justified in doing that because he's a creator of life. He's still holy, even though he did those cruel acts. You see what I'm saying? So you got to be consistent when you, when you what? When you say Jesus was holy. Yes, Jesus was a holy man. When it says Jesus was holy, what it means is compared to everyone else who lived on earth, he lived a good life, a perfect life. But he made errors, obviously. He thought many bad thoughts. He probably had boners. He probably was aroused. He probably jacked off the woman maybe 200 times in his life. Whereas all the human beings in the world, they probably jacked off the woman 10,000 times in their life. So compared to everyone else, he was good. He was good enough to be the perfect sacrifice for what? For for, 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 for what? For what? For the, uh, for the father, obviously. Oh, I even know if Jesus jacked off the woman 200 times and he was, and he had a boner and, and, and he was, and, and, you know what I'm saying? And he thought bad thoughts and he wouldn't, that wouldn't satisfy the father's wrath. Okay, well then you're going to have to condemn the father as the father had many murderous thoughts in the Old Testament of murdering all those people, all those people. You got to be consistent, man, people. Christians, you can't pick and choose. Yo, know, Ivan, you caught us. Yes, I caught you. You can, you have to be consistent when you when you talk about the holiness of God. You got to be consistent. If you're gonna if you're gonna say Jesus never thought a bad thought, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Ivan, if Jesus jacked off to to, to, to the woman two hundred times in his life, then he would sin. And 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 what? That would undermine the the the, the fellowship of the Trinity. Okay. Then you gotta be consistent. If if the God of the Old Testament murdered many people, wouldn't that undermine the the, the, the Trinity too? Because <laughs> he the God of the Old Testament in the Old Testament he had murderous thoughts. He he, he thought of murdering children and, and 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 many nations. Is that is that is that is that is that a sin too? By thinking those thoughts, no, I am. That's not a sin. When the God of the Old Testament said, "I regret making man," he he wiped out what. He, he caused that flood and wiped out all, he killed all those people. Is that a sin? For thinking those thoughts, those murderous thoughts? God thought murderous thoughts about, about, about the world and Noah's day and all those nations in the Old Testament. You see what I'm saying? Is that a sin for thinking those murderous thoughts? No, Ivan, it's not a sin. He just, he's, he's, he's still holy. Yes, that's my fucking point. He's still holy, even though what? He murdered people in the Old Testament. Jesus thought many bad thoughts. He probably jacked off maybe 200 times in his life. I jacked off maybe, I don't know, 100 times in my life. I'm still good compared to everyone else. I watched porn only maybe 200 times in my life. But compared to everyone else, everyone watched, watched that like 10,000 times in their life. I lived a good life. It's sufficient enough for God's, for God's uh, wrath, obviously. For God, to satisfy God's wrath. Some say. But Sashu might tell me, I even know if Jesus thought a bad thought and he was aroused, you know what I'm saying, around the woman, he had a boner, then he would have sinned that would undermine his fellowship with the Father. Okay, then you gotta be consistent. In the Old Testament, God had murderous thoughts about those nations and striking people with diseases. Would that under is that a sin to think those murderous thoughts of wiping out those nations? 
will that under, undermine the trend, the fellowship of the Father and Son too? You ought to be consistent, man. No, I haven't hit walled. Okay, if, 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 if being aroused and, 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 you know what I'm saying, thinking a bad thought is nothing compared to murdering someone, that would undermine your argument, obviously. That's why you got to be consistent. The Christians have to be consistent with their arguments. Sam's like, holy shit, I even know your shit. Yes, I know my shit, Sam. Even though you would school me in debate, I would never debate you. I know my shit enough. You guys have to be consistent with your arguments, man. Like, if you you have to be consistent with your arguments with, with Jesus' holiness, the Father's holiness. The Father, what? Killed many people in the Old Testament. Murdered many people. No, I have there are wicked people. Yes, they're wicked people, obviously. But he murdered many people in the Old Testament, and he made he had many commandments to to, to, to the what, to to the prophets. So if he had those commandments and he murdered those people, that means he thought those murderous thoughts towards those people. Is that a sin? Is God sinning if he thinks those murderous thoughts towards those people? No, I have. It's not a sin in the Old Testament, but in the New Testament, if Jesus thinks those those thoughts, it's a sin. If you guys are inconsistent, man. You're crazy people. <laughs> you know, Ivan, you caught me. That's a good argument. Yes, it's a good argument. I caught you guys, man. I fucking caught you, son. I caught you, yeah. So, Ivan, what do you what do you believe about Jesus' holiness? I believe in the Bible, when it says Jesus was holy... Compared to everyone else, he lived a good life. He was a virgin like me. But he obviously he obviously was tempted. He jacked off. He had wet dreams. He thought many bad thoughts. You know what I'm saying? He swore probably quite a few times in his life. But compared to everyone else, he was good. The apostle saw, saw Jesus as a good man. Yeah, this guy's a holy good man. Just like even though I made errors in my life, everyone who looks at my life says, yeah, Ivan's a good holy man. If Ivan had a heavenly father, his father would be pleased with his life. Because yeah, I still live a good life compared to everyone else. That's my point. But without sin, obviously. Obviously. In other words, when the Bible says Jesus was without sin, it, it, it means, his, it means his, uh, his nature. His nature is sinless, but his human nature, his human nature and his, na his, human nature and his, na and his spirit, obviously, is sinless. It's pure. Um, his 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 um, um his inwardly he's pure, obviously. But because he's also human, he 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 what? He obviously made a few errors, obviously, in his life. He might have messed up a few times, obviously, but 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 what? He was still without sin because his nature is pure, and because his nature is pure, he will. In other words, when it says Jesus was sinless, obviously, what it means really is is that his nature was pure. And because his nature is pure, he, he 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 lived out good deeds compared to everyone else. But that doesn't mean he didn't he didn't succumb to temptations. He obviously succumbed to temptations. He thought many bad thoughts. He probably swore many times in his life. You know what I'm saying? He probably jacked off maybe two a hundred times in his life. He probably what? Was tempted, sexually aroused, but he never touched a woman. But he's sinless, obviously, because his nature is sinless, obviously. His nature is sinless, so because his nature is sinless, obviously, he lived out he lived a good life compared to everyone else. Whereas the human beings, their nature is not sinless, it's 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 evil and wicked, hence why they all live horrible lives. Whereas Jesus, his inward nature is sinless. But because he was also human, he was tempted, he had time, he, he succumbed to human weakness and temptations, which means he jacked off, he had boners, he was tempted. Sexually, obviously, but he never banged a woman because he's holy. That's my point, I'm sorry. Symbolism of my life, pretty much. Obviously. Symbolism of my life, but maybe a bit better than my life, but it's a symbolism of my life. Compared to everyone else, I, uh, my inward nature is holy. So because my inward nature is holy, compared to everyone else, I'm going to live a good life. A good, a, a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do good deeds and live a good life compared to everyone else. There. That's my point. Now, I'm going to keep saying this, Christians. If you're going to be consistent and say Jesus never thought a bad thought, and he never, he never, he, he never swore, 
You know what I'm saying? He never, he never, he never was aroused by women. He never had a bone. And you got to condemn the, the Old Testament, man. Because in the Old Testament, Jesus, uh, Jesus, the Father and the Spirit, were all involved in the what? In the execution of thousands, hundreds of thousands of, 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 of human beings. And when they gave those commands to the prophets, they thought those murderous thoughts. Is that a sin or not? It's not a sin, Ivan. Then be consistent. If Jesus thinks about banging a woman, it's not a sin. It's, he's just, it's, just, it's just a thought. That doesn't mean he's sin. You have to be consistent, guys. I'm sorry. You know, Ivan, you, that's a good point. Yes, it's a good, it's a good point. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sam's so like, yeah, Ivan, even though I will school you in the debate, you're you're fuck you're a fucking genius, man. You caught me, man. Yeah, I caught you, Sam. You gotta be consistent, man, with your arguments. Sam's very consistent with all his arguments, but the one flaw I find in his arguments is when he talks about Jesus' holiness. How he never sinned. He was he was a yeah, he was a perfect man, obviously. But when I when they say he was a perfect man, compared to everyone else, he was a perfect man. That doesn't mean he, he never succumbed to human weaknesses and limitations. Because the Bible says he was tapped at all points. But without sin. Some Zaire? That's my point, yeah. Jesus probably had wet dreams as a kid. But he was still innocent. He was still sinless. Because he was a human being. He was tapped at all points. He probably jacked off the woman. Don't hate me, guys. He probably jacked off the maybe oh, the woman maybe a hundred times. You know what I'm saying? In other words, if I came down to earth 2,000 years ago, and I was Jesus, obviously, I would live a good, perfect life compared to everyone else, but I would obviously, I'd probably jack off the woman maybe a hundred times in my life. I would never touch a but I would be tempted sexually around a woman. Boners, sexually aroused, but I would never touch them. I would run. I'm holy, obviously. I would swear many, many times in my life, but compared to everyone else, I, I would be, I, I am, I would be good. As Jesus called the uh, what? He called the Pharisees brutal names. He didn't swear to them, but he called them some mean names: brood of vipers, snakes. You know, he called a woman a dog. I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying you got to be consistent, guys, and Sarah. That's my point. Oh, I mean, no, Jesus completely says he never thought I bad thought. He never was aroused. Okay. Then you're going to have to condemn the, the, the old, him in the Old Testament. Because in the Old Testament, God thought many, many murderous thoughts towards these human beings, man, in the Old Testament. Is that a sin? No, I rest not a sin. It's not the same thing. Yeah, inconsistency. Show my camera here.